Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Kay here sharing another Friday freebie and I've actually printed out a second copy so that you can see what the Friday freebie is and it is Butterfly People. Um, there are two little boys, two little girls and then three rather lovely uh, butterflies with writing around the outside or script. You, you can't quite make out what is written around them and Amanda has very cleverly given a cutting line to anyone that is a bit um, concerned about getting the spacing around the cutout the same all the way around me. I just go for it I'm afraid and, and then ink around and, and that does me. But for people that prefer the uniformity of, of a standardised um, white outer edge around the image then it really is an ideal way to cut out the image and get the most from it so you know it really is the kind of um, digital sheet that you can make cards with you can make hidden paper clips with you can make um, all sorts of different things uh, or little things for your journals and that kind of thing. What I've come up with is a sort of dual pocket, I'll just clamber it out here, a little dual pocket tag holder and I've actually embossed butterfly card in keeping with the main butterflies within Amanda's design and then cut out what I've needed from it to put together this lovely little pocket filler I'm going to call it for the want of something else because it's just something that I've worked on and to be honest it actually was too wide to do what I wanted it to do in the beginning so I very simply folded it down the middle knowing that these tags that I've made would be actually quite snug in the pockets and um, then lined the back of the tag holder with papers from Floral Grace used a velcro to seal it together so then that could actually become another little pocket or a tuck spot or you could just anchor more ephemera to it and utilise it any which way you like. I've left it entirely plain for the moment because I wanted to be able to put this video up. Um, I've usually done my Friday freebie by now and I've not managed to get round to it because we had family to stay at the weekend. So going back to the front, this is how it started its life and I've lightly distressed the butterfly embossing. I don't know if the camera, oh yes it does, the camera just about picks it up and I've used vintage photo for that. I've then fussy cut out the butterflies, put a little bit of glitter onto the wings of the butterfly just to keep them pretty and nice cut out this central thumb pull because as I said at the beginning it was going to be that one size but it doesn't look untoward there anyway and then I made the two tags also using another background sheet from Floral Grace only this time it's a, 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 a browny pinky colour which by virtue of using the uh, vintage photograph actually becomes more of a brown than it is a pink and then I've just cut out these little um, I don't know what you call them, a little plinth if you like from the embossed card put some uh, foam tape behind it to give it a little bit of dimension but not too much. I didn't want to put in brads and things but found a little bit of this jute ribbon which actually looks quite nice and then at the bottom here is a little pocket which you can put things into albeit small things 
to you know just put some extra detail into the pocket and the tag if that's what you wanted to do. I've used Tim Holtz stamps just to add extra interest, the numbers, the admit one ticket and then up here it was something else, I can't remember what it was um, and that just finished up the whole thing. They're utterly plain on the back so you would be able to journal if you wanted to or indeed add another pocket, pocket on the back if that's what you wanted to do and add more bits of interest, perhaps ephemera, whatever you felt was appropriate and put it into the little wallet and when you put the two tags inside and did I show that? That's how that looks like when it with with the stamping and the inked butterflies. You that when you but when you put these into the folder, the tags are just wide enough to sit on the crease of the little wallet and then when you pull it together and crunch up the um, velcro dots it just sits together quite nicely which then gives you the facility to pop into a pocket in a main journal if that's what you wanted to do but it you know it it, it is dual aspected you've got two sides two tags and then as I said inside you've got this little secret area almost that you can add bits and pieces into to keep safe. The velcro clearly will hold on to um, longer bits of ephemera but if it were smaller bits clearly they'd fall out of the bottom so you would need to be very careful about what you put in there unless of course you anchored it down. It can't be dimensional because the velcro dots wouldn't do their bit but you could put little storage things in there that you wanted to keep relevant to the overall project. So as always I hope I've inspired, I hope I've given you food for thought and an idea to use the Friday freebie in your own right. You know all of these things are just suggestions and there are so many different ways of using these Friday freebies. It's a shame not to collect them if you're a member of Create with Scrimping Mommy because that's the only way you'll find them free for the moment um, and Amanda may well then put them across onto her Kofi site at a later date but you know there are no guarantees because it's down to Amanda to decide how she wants these images put forward and you know put out into the public arena so as I say thank you very much for joining me today my aim as always is just to offer up a little bit of inspiration and give you food for thought which I hope I've done take care everyone happy crafting bye bye for now